Add zero, lesson 1.5. Zero means none. When we add zero to a number, the number stays the same. We can use dots like this to model a problem. We can draw the dot we need to use. Emma has three pencils. Tala has no pencils. How many pencils do they have? We can use the dots to help us. Emma has three pencils, so we make three dots. Tala has no pencils, so there's no dots. How many pencils do they have? One, two, three. Three plus zero, Tala has zero pencils, is equal to three. Now Emma has no pencils, and Tala has three pencils. How many pencils do they have? Now Emma has zero pencils, and Tala has three pencils. Zero plus three is one, two, three. It doesn't matter if the three is in front or here, or if the zero is in front and the three is here, it still is equal to three. We're still adding zero to three. What happens when zero is added to a number? The number stays the same. Here we have four green dots and zero dots. Four plus zero is equal to four. The four stays the same. Here we have zero dots and two dots. Zero plus two is equal to two. The two stays the same when zero is added to it. See? We can draw dots to show the number. We can write the sum five plus zero. Whenever you add zero to a number, the number stays the same. So that's going to be five. Zero plus seven. Whenever we add zero to a number, the number stays the same, so it's just going to be seven. Six plus four, we can use dots. Six dots plus four more dots is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight plus zero, whenever we add zero to a number, the number stays the same, so that's just an eight. Seven plus three, we can use dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Seven plus three is equal to ten. Zero plus nine. Whenever we add zero to a number, the number stays the same. It's equal to nine. Two plus eight. Two dots plus eight dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two plus eight is equal to ten. Six plus zero. Whenever we add zero to a number, the number stays the same. The answer is six. There are four brown dogs. There are three black dogs. How many dogs are white? Hmm. There's four brown ones and three black ones, but it doesn't say that there's any white dogs. So there's zero white dogs. There's only brown and black ones. Tala has eight cookies. Bob has no cookies. 
Then Tala gives eight cookies to Bob. How many cookies does Tala have? She had eight. He didn't have any. She gave the eight cookies to Bob. How many cookies does Tala have? Well, she had eight. Bob had zero. Then she gave the eight to Bob. How many does she have? She has zero now because she gave them all to Bob, didn't she? So now, this is Tala. She had eight. Bob had zero. Then Tala gave the eight cookies to Bob. So now Tala has zero and Bob has eight. It's like they switched, didn't they? So how many does she have? She has zero. Here we have no dots and we have one dot. Zero plus one is equal to one. The one stays the same when we add zero. It stays one. How many dots are here? There's no dots. How many dots are here? No dots. When we have zero plus zero, how many dots are in here? Zero. There's no dots. Zero plus zero equals zero. There are five B's in all. One, two, three, four, five. How many B's are in the hive? Well, if there's five B's in all and we can see them all, then there are zero bees in the hive because we see all five of them outside. How many bees are in the hive? Five bees plus zero bees is five bees, but how many are in the, in the hive? Zero. Zero bees are in the hive because we can see all of them outside the hive and there are five bees in all. This is the zero that's in the hive. There are no books in this box. Then Emma puts six books in the box. How many books are in the box? There was no books in the box, that's zero. Then Emma put six books in the box. How many books are in the box? Zero plus six. Whenever you add zero to a number, it stays the same. So there's just six books in the box. How many? Six books. Okay. So you should now be ready to do the practice and homework on pages 41 and 42. And make sure you read the problems carefully. If you have trouble understanding them, go to the previous pages and see if you can figure out how to do them from the previous problems. Our next lesson is add in any order. That'll be lesson 1.6 and I hope I'll see you there. I'll see you next time. Bye.